Hi guys, welcome back to another how-to video. Now in this video, I'll be showing you how to use MentorTrader 5 on iOS. But before we get started, please do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button, comment down below, click the bell notification button so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Like the video, share it as much as possible because it does help with the algorithm. Now that we've done that, let's get right into the video. So rumor has it that MentorTrader 4 will be discontinued between March and June of 2023, leaving MetaTrader 5 as the alpha platform. No, God, please, no, no, no. Now, in comparison to MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5 has no technical errors, no glitches, no delays, works faster when placing a trade, and supports multiple languages. So how to get access to the MetaTrader 5 app? head over to the Play Store and download it. Unfortunately for iOS users, I can't recommend that you do that because MetaTrader 5 and 4 has been discontinued on the App Store mainly because there are certain versions of the app that may not be compatible with iOS, so therefore it has been discontinued. So I do recommend that you migrate to Android for the app. So once you've successfully downloaded the app, let's get right into how the app actually works. As soon as you open the app, it will prompt you to accept the terms and conditions and create a demo account. Rather use a demo account of a broker that you are using. And if you don't have a broker that you are using, I would like to recommend QuickTrade. So QuickTrade is an international broker. They are FSCA regulated. They have an ODP license. They have super fast withdrawals, low spreads and incredible gearing. So I'll be sure to leave the link in my description at the end of the video for you. So once you've selected your broker, you can either open a demo or a live account. To open a demo account, you will click where it says MetaTrader 5 demo, click the plus sign in the corner and enter the name of your broker. You'll obviously need to register an account with your broker, um, whether it is a demo or a live account. And once you've registered your account, uh, you'll simply just enter the details, which would be your login and your password. As opposed to when you open a demo account, a live account would have your name right at the top. And now that you have your demo or live account ready, let's get right into our first page, which is quotes. Quotes refer to current market prices of different financial instruments, whether it be currency pairs, indices, commodities, depending on which one you're looking to trade at the time. Uh, quotes are updated in real time and provide traders with really important information to help make healthy trading decisions. Here are a list of quotes commonly used in the MetaTrader 5 app. So number one, we have the bid price. Bid price is the highest price a buyer is willing to pay for a financial instrument. Ask price is the lowest price a seller is willing to accept for a financial instrument. And the spread shows you the difference between these two prices. And then we have a day percentage. So the day percentage refers to the daily percentage change of any financial instrument. So basically representing the difference between uh, the current day's closing price, uh, the previous day's closing price as a percentage of the previous day's closing price. So those are the list of quotes that you would see on your MetaTrader 5 app. Even if you switch it around and click on that icon on your left, you will still see the bid price and the ask price. Now that you've understood that, let's move right along to our next window, which is charts. Charts are a visual representation of price movement for a specific financial instrument. So traders get to see volatility, trends, and more important information that can assist them to make their next trading move. So when we go onto our charts, you will see that there is a time frame on your far left. Um, each time frame determines the time in which a candlestick forms. For example, a four hour time frame each candlestick that you see on the chart would have taken four hours to form. Then we have indicators, right? So traders can add various technical indicators to their chart to help them with market analysis. Some common indicators can include your RSI, your MACD, your moving averages, and are commonly used by technical analysts. And then we have price movements over there. So charts display the price movement of a financial instrument over time, which traders can use this information to 
determine their next informed trading decision and then we have a customization right so charts can be customized to display information to the trader such as adding or removing technical indicators um, changing colors you know period and adjusting your chart type and then finally we have our crosshair over there so crosshair when the crosshair is on you will not be able to move your chart you can also trade on the chart by clicking the icon on your far right either selecting a sell or a buy as well as adjusting your lot size moving right along to the trade tab so the trade tab window typically includes information such as the financial instrument you want to trade or your trades basically running in real time right and then over there you can see we have a balance that refers to the total amount of money in your trading account and then we have equity which is the value of the trading account considering both realized and unrealized profits or losses in all open positions and then we have our margin right so the margin is the amount of money that is required as a good faith deposit by the broker to open a position the margin requirement is a percentage of the total value of the position and varies depending on the instrument being traded the trade window also gives you options such as close position modify position open a new trade or go back to your chart so if you click on trade you will see stop loss take profit right and as well as the volume size so the volume size is basically just the number of units of the financial instrument that you want to trade and also the direction of the trade either if you're going to be buying or you'll be selling and then you have your stop loss so stop loss is just an order that is used to limit potential losses right it's a predetermined price at which the trade will automatically uh, close if the market moves against you basically and then we also have a take profit so take profit is used basically to just lock in profits it's also a predetermined price at which the trade will automatically close if the market moves in favor of the trader which is you in this case and then we have confirmed trade right so confirmed trade means that you are locking in your trade you are now trading um, it's used basically to execute the trade and by using the trade button in mt5 traders can easily open and close trades on the platform and it's much faster like I say the delays are much 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 better on the MetaTrader 5 app in comparison to the MT4 app this feature makes it convenient uh, for traders to manage their positions and take advantage of basically the market opportunities right and now that you understand that we can move right along to our history window so on our history window you will basically just find all the positions that you had opened and your profits as well as your losses the deposit that you made into your account the swaps the commission and as well as your balance so finally we have our settings window and on our settings window the first thing you should see is your name as well as the broker you are currently trading with and then right at the bottom of that it should say new account so new account is where you can add another broker so you're not limited to only using one broker on MetaTrader 5 you can literally swap from broker to broker um, mailbox news and trade date so trade is basically just like an app that was uh, developed by MetaTrader to basically give you information on upcoming news that might affect the markets um, there is chats and messages traders community account monitoring algo trading guide one-time password generator and interface and in this case my interface is English that's because English is my first language like I said earlier on MetaTrader 5 does give a wide variety of languages so you are not limited to sticking with English if it is not your first language um, then we have charts journal and more settings so I hope this video was very helpful to you guys and I hope to see you in the next how-to video don't forget to like subscribe comment and hit the bell notification button so that you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Happy trading!